welcome to Africa Live. I want to begin by asking you, what is it that will make this inaugural assembly more than just a talk shop? Especially among the developing countries, there is a lot of political will, uh, especially emerging economies. I come, for example, from Asian country, Mongolia, and we just adopted a new green policy strategy, and there is a lot of political will, but also public support uh, trying to change the, our path. And we don't want to repeat the mistakes of the last 200 years when it was developed now, clean up later. So the main thing for that is to, technology exists, so we need international cooperation for the technology transfer. Solutions exist and ca funds can be raised. The challenge with the fi finding the finance is not about finance, it's changing the attitude. And I think the attitude of both governments, but also, you know, ordinary citizens is changing. And even businesses, lenders, investors, even consumers' attitude is changing. So I think the most important thing is that for countries and for the regions, for even every citizen in this world to realize everybody has to change our mentality and attitude. And How will leadership ensure that policy outcomes, education as well as awareness, how does it all trickle down to the public? In September there will be a um, United Nations Secretary General is convening the summit for the climate change where we're hoping all the states of the government presidents will come and discuss the climate change issues and then next year 2015 everybody is really hoping that the new climate change no agreement will be um, approved in Paris 2015 and the next two years are very important into, in defining the post-development, uh, post-2015 sustainable development agenda. So these two years are very critical in raising the public awareness but also for the decision makers to understand what the problems and how, where are the solutions. If conservationists are having difficulty in terms of keeping up with the levels of environmental crime, what type of global action is needed to ensure swift action? I think the most important thing is that uh, it, it's not only the, uh, to understand that it's not only the environment agencies issue, it's a it should be coordinated effort of law enforcement agencies legislators changing the legislation, environmental agencies, NGOs, conservation people, and uh, um, even the local citizens as well. So the, um, because the idea why we're discussing this issue at the UNEA and why it was brought up by the member states at the UNEA level uh, is to call for the global coordinated action.